Hi, my name is Bob Grunier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So here we have a Radia code here and this is mostly to look at gamma but we might be able to see a little bit of high energy x-rays here and it's a little scintillator, gives us a quick look-see and you can see that it's been running for a little while on the background and we've got around about 11 counts per second, 11.1 uh, with a plus or minus 4.4% there so I'm going to actually uh, turn on the speaker here so we can hear the clickiness and then I'm going to put it on the sample of our material here and see if we get a change there and we're going to actually throw on the top of the uh, scintillator a little bit of that and see if we get any decent change there doesn't really seem to be doing much of any interest. Of course, there might be something that's coming out there at a very slow rate, and it might be very specific photons. We have a background for this room, which we can subtract from that. So I think what the process we need to do now is do a long-term sample on that and see if we're seeing any particular um, emissions. Now, the reality is this is from August 2021, so we've got 2022, 2023, that's two, um, you know, two and a half years. It's now uh, January the 18th, uh, 2024. And so if there were any short-lived isotopes in there, they've long gone. Um, so yeah, this really doesn't look like it's going beyond the background, at least on this short test. So thank you very much for your time and I will see you in the next video.